A powerful earthquake has struck a wide area of southern Mexico and Central America, it killed at least three people and damaged homes, hospitals and churches. CCTV's John Holman joins us live from Mexico City with the latest. And John, what can you tell us uh, more about the impact of this earthquake? Well, as you say, uh, the epicenter of this earthquake was just off the coast of the very south of Mexico, but it affected both that area, which is called Chiapas, and also North Guatemala, the country next door. And particularly San Marcos, a municipality in North Guatemala, was very much affected by this. Uh, 90 buildings were damaged, uh, 40 of those severely so, according to the Disaster Response Unit, uh, which we've been on the phone to today there. Uh, those buildings included uh, public buildings, uh, schools, churches, hospitals, and indeed the only fatality in Guatemala was a newly born baby in the hospital in San Marcos. Uh, five people injured there and a community of over 40, we're told, that had to leave their houses uh, because they were badly damaged. And particularly in that region uh, of Guatemala, the problem is that many houses are built uh, using adobe, which is little more than sort of sun-dried mud that's made into bricks. So those don't provide, uh, those sort of houses don't provide very good protection against uh, earthquakes. Talking about a very poor area of Guatemala. Across the border in Mexico, also uh, almost 300 houses damaged, maybe not quite as severely as those in Guatemala. Uh, two people uh, dead there. And this is something that's been continuing over the course of the day. The earthquake itself might have happened in the early morning, but there's been aftershocks as the days continued here. So, Joan, what are authorities trying to do? Well, there's, uh, it's particularly in Guatemala, when we've talked to the Disaster Response Unit, they've sent in a team of 30 people, uh, and the army also going in there, about 300 people in total, entering the zone with rations of, uh, of food and trying to help out people there. They're also trying to evaluate the damage. We've talked to Mexican authorities, they're doing the same. Basically, if it comes to over a certain amount of, uh, of material damage to houses, and they can then liberate uh, a disaster fund, uh, which will help people. That money comes from the central government. The two presidents have been together as well today at another event, and uh, President Peña Nieto of Mexico in particular uh, has spoken of this and has offered his condolences. Um, but this really isn't the first time that this happened so far uh, this year. Uh, this region, Chiapas in southern Mexico, has seen the most earthquakes of anywhere in Mexico. And in Mexico in particular, there's been 3,000 uh, earthquakes so far this year, some bigger than others. So they're causing uh, a real problem this year in this part of the world. All right, CCTV's John Holman reporting from Mexico City.